Mama, I made it to Forbes. <laughs> What is good YouTube, Zoe Physique here. Uh, today is actually Sunday. I normally don't vlog Sundays, but we got something different going on today. Uh, Nick Bear is actually one of my uh, favorite YouTubers just because of the fact of how humble he is. Uh, he's actually in Dallas and um, he's having a speaking event. You know, it's an event for you know entrepreneurs and people that want to start their own brand, which is something that I'm doing. So I kind of want to go over there and you know, kind of get some feedback, get some information from him. You know, I, I think the event's only 25 bucks, so I think it's worth every penny. Um, you know, this guy's doing what I want to do, so I want to learn from the best and, you know, learn from different YouTubers or just different entrepreneurs that are doing or in the shoes that I want to be in someday. So, you know, we're going to head out there. I'm actually heading to pick up Raul right now. Once I pick Raul up, we're going to head straight over to the event. All right, so we stopped at QT. Raul needed to go grab him an energy drink. I already have a bang over there, as you can see. And I have this one bar. Since I can't eat donuts, I'm gonna go ahead and snack on one of these. So, these are pretty good. So we just finished up at the seminar. I uh, got Nick here. What's up? Oh, why does my face look so skinny? Dude, you're slim right now. No lie. This guy's on a cut, and it, it, it sucks when you're cutting. So I, he uh, knows. I'm carpet depleting right now. So I'm carpet depleting for three days. I carb load Wednesday for a shoot Thursday. I lost 30 pounds. Fuck is it full of food? Oh, dude, yeah. I can't wait to have fuck, man. <laughs> I'm trying to tell these guys, Cheesecake Factory is literally right down the road. I can't have it. They need to enjoy it for me. Oh, oh man. You know, that's what we'll probably do. We'll probably go enjoy it. I'll let him enjoy it since he's bulking. Get we'll the, let Raul enjoy it. Eat the whole loaf of bread, man. And then uh, I'm probably going to have something. I don't know, a salad or something. But we'll see what they have there. Cheesecake. Side oh, cheesecake. A side cheesecake. But uh, shout out to Nick for showing some love. Uh, we'll definitely check him out in Austin pretty soon. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next clip. Peace. You said we had it all, that shit would drive me crazy Cause outside, outside is no feelings, baby You say it's hard to tell what I've been thinking lately But behind closed doors, I'ma fall for your love You said we had it all, that shit would drive me crazy Cause outside, outside is no feelings, baby You say it's hard to tell what I've been thinking lately The seminar was great, got some good feedback and tips just from different people and entrepreneurs that are doing their thing Um. I think the whole purpose of these events is not to go to listen to how these people got there, but to uh, figure out how, what advice you can get from them and figure out how you can get there. So that's the whole point that I like, the whole reason that I like to go to these events and, you know, seminars like this is because I want to kind of listen to the people that are in the shoes that I want to be in someday and see what I can do. And not everything that they do will work for me, but, you know, it's always worth a try. And it's all about trying out different things and just trial and error. You know, whatever you try might work, it might not work. And if it doesn't, you just on to the next move. We're currently heading over uh, to uh, one of my buddies' uh, jobs. We're gonna have a meeting and you know talk about some business and just different other things like that. Um, today I haven't really ate much. I mean, I know I had uh, in the morning I had some Starbucks and then I had what else did I eat? Uh, oh yeah, bar I believe, donut flavored, and then I had a bang in it to drink. And now I'm drinking on a purple monster. But uh, yeah, I still have a lot of carbs left for the day, so I'm probably gonna eat some chicken and rice later on after this or after the meeting. Not sure exactly what I'm going to eat, but I mean. It's gonna be something high carb because I'm probably gonna do one meal today and then have a salad before I go to bed. I was something at a place called Lucky Walk. They got a uh, grilled chicken and some white rice that I'm gonna get in there. I'm still trying to stay on my diet. I'm not trying to break it, and especially eating out. You know what I mean? I'm not cooking the food, so I gotta try to make the best of this. So we're gonna go in here. I'll, I'll show you guys my food, and I'll see you guys inside. Doing, bro? 
um, put us some meeting notes together for our meeting that we're gonna have pretty soon. And we're waiting on our food, so I ordered some white rice, some teriyaki chicken with the sauce on the side for the gains. Uh, but yeah, we're putting these meeting notes together, we're gonna eat our food, and after that we're gonna head over to our meeting. Just finished up that meal. I'm full. I think that rice had about like, I want to say two or three cups of rice. That was a lot of rice. I didn't finish it all. Um, fortunately, I threw it away. Um, but it was some good food. I'm full now. Feeling better because I ate. We all had that. Uh, what'd you eat? Orange chicken? Um, nah. It was a um, sweet and sour. Oh yeah, sweet and sour sweet chicken. Sweet and sour chicken. Yeah, he had some sweet and sour chicken. I had teriyaki chicken with the sauce on the side. It was pretty good. Now we're heading to this meeting. And yeah, we'll go from there. We're going to head to this meeting, so I'll catch up with you guys later. All right, guys, so the time is now 8 o'clock. I already dropped her all off at home. It's so late in the day, I probably won't even get it. Won't even get a chance to train today. I was actually supposed to train, I think, back today. Yeah, I was supposed to train back today. I didn't get the chance to do that. The day kind of got out of my hands, you know, with us going on to the seminar, uh, meeting up with Nick Bear and having a meeting with my, uh, you know, my business partners and whatnot. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to train today. I might as well vlog and finish off this vlog with, you know, my Monday prep. So I kind of just kind of give you guys an idea of what I cook and uh, how I get ready for my Monday morning. Mondays is always a busy day for me, so I try to set up all my food and stuff Sunday. So let's go inside the Target, let's grab some food. I'm sure you guys what I'm gonna get. Let's go. red meat out of my diet for some time so I'm gonna go ahead and get some uh, lean ground beef haven't had it in a while I'll stick into like white meats like you know chicken breast and turkey and all that good stuff but I'm gonna go ahead and throw some red meat in this uh, this week's uh, prep uh, I'll show you guys what I got get some 93% lean ground beef I think that's the leanest that they have here I think that's Selena's ground beef that they have here, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with that one. Uh, the rest of my meats are gonna be all white meats. You know, I'm gonna do chicken breast. Uh, I'm gonna do some. Oh no, I actually found a leaner one, but it's expensive. Huh. I found a different one. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one, I guess. This one's a little better, more lean, doesn't have as much fat. I'm trying to keep my fat slow, uh, especially on this cut. So we're gonna swap out this one. It costs more to get this one right here. Uh, we're gonna skip that and we're gonna go ahead and go with this. Put this one back. I'm gonna get some, you know, some snacks, some yogurts and all that good stuff. And there's different things like that. Um, I'm gonna, you know, for this cut, I'm keeping the carbs really low. I'm keeping my red meats really low. I'm eating majority white meat, so I've just been doing chicken breast. I've been doing turkey, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some avocado and stuff in there as well. Just get some, I don't wanna say good fats, but just different types of fats. Quick little secret, since I don't get too much seasonings and flavor on my food, what I like to add is this right here. So it tastes amazing, I add it on everything. I don't go too overboard, but I add a couple of sprays on there. So, yeah, it's a quick tip. Yeah, baby. Say hi, Nevada.
show you guys what I got. I got my chicken, got my spring mix lettuce, I mean my spring mix salad, got my ground beef, avocado, ground turkey, bean, egg whites, my can't believe it's not butter, ham spray, and my waters. So we're good to go. It's dark outside, so I'm sorry about the lighting. Uh, but yeah, I'm just finished up shopping at Target. I mean, the time's not 8.43. It's getting late. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, for future reference, I'm never coming to Target again. Because the things I normally buy at Walmart normally runs me around 50 bucks. Here, it ran me around 70 bucks. So I spent way too much money. Um, you know, you live and learn, so now I know that I will not shop at Target again because they're overpriced. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.